Our next recipe is going to be our pizza. So we've got everything we need. We've got the flour, we've got our yeast. For the base, we've got the tomato garlic and we've also got some basil, some mozzarella cheese and some tomatoes. I've already weighed out 300 grams of the flour that you'll be using. So while I start to do the dough, Andrew can crack on with mozzarella. Yeah, I'll yeah. do your, your topping. So you just put your flour in. So yeah. it's just so easy. You've got your flour, you just pop your yeast in there. I think it's some salt as well, isn't it, Lee? Yeah, and a tablespoon. So we'll just put a little bit of olive oil in there, just to help it on its way and some salt. We've got 200 mils of water. Um, have it tepid so it's warm, so as soon as it goes in, it's going to react with the yeast and then it's going to start doing the dough. So I'm just going to make a little well in the middle and just pop the water in and then start to fold the flour and then you get to start to knead the flour to make it into the dough ball. So I'll do that. Just make sure you mix it all around. Get it all mixed. You will need to keep adding the water. If you need any more though, don't be scared to put it in, but just put a little bit in at a time because you really don't want to mess it up right at the end. Yeah. So then we keep going. It's starting to get there a little bit more. That's all you've got to do, just make sure all the flour and everything is mixed properly. Yeah, we just want to get a nice ball, like a nice dough ball consistency, isn't it? Yeah, and bring that out now. I'm going to put the last little bits of water in. If I need any more, I can just go and get it. I'm going to flour the table and then I'll, I'll, I'll be able to find out if I need any more to go into there. Kids, you'll enjoy this. It'll be full of flour. And you can just keep on going. I think I will add a little bit more water. So if you find you need water, just pop it in. And then we'll start mixing again. Yeah. What consistency do you think we need to get there? To a door consistency. The door con yeah. <laughs> basically what you're doing is stretching the gluten, isn't it? Yes. We just work the door really with the bread door. Yeah. Like Lena says, it's a good exercise. Um, depending on what type of day you've had. <laughs> that would help. So I think that's about the right yeah. consistency. So this one will actually make you two pizzas. So we're going to split the dough. I'm going to pop it back into the bowl with a clean tea towel. And if you've got an airing cupboard or, you know, um, a part of the house that's really warm beside the radiator. Or on top of the oven. Brilliant, yeah. yeah. Anywhere that's warm. And then you'll find that it'll double in size. When it gets yeah. to that point, you're good to go. I think um, yeah. yeah. For the topping for your pizza, what we have is 100 mils of passata. Um, if we put that into the mixing bowl, and then if we've got either some raw garlic, which you need to crush, or some pre pureed garlic, we need at least, say, a teaspoon. So if we add that, then we need some mixed herbs, which you should have in your pack. If we just give it a sprinkle. And then what we need to do is mix that. We could even put a bit chili in with chili Chili beans. if you like it spicy, yeah. I do. Uh, so you can put chili flakes or some chipotle paste. So there we are, that's our nice topping. Um, I think I'll add actually some, a bit of salt, not too much, and some pepper. 
we've got some mozzarella. So this is fresh mozzarella. Um, it's actually a mozzarella cheese ball and it's in the cow's milk. So what you need to do is just open the packet and then pour off the cow's milk. So that's the mozzarella ball there. Now you can either break it up by hand and pop it onto your pizzas or you can slice it. I like to slice it nice and thinly so it goes over your pizza, you get more pizza coverage so everybody's got a bit of cheese on it. Or if you prefer cheddar cheese, grated cheese. Yeah, any, um, any cheese you've got in your fridge basically. Yeah. I'm going to add cherry tomatoes, but you can add anything that you have in your fridge that you need using up. You can add peppers, onions, ham, ham pepperoni. pepperoni, salami, anything that you might have. Um, but I'm just going to do some cherry tomatoes, some mozzarella, our pizza base, and I've actually got some fresh basil. The basil I'll not put on until the end, until the pizza's cooked. And then we'll add a bit of olive oil, but we'll show you when we get to that point. So we're back with the dough balls. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring it round in a circle. You can do pizzas anyway. We're, we're going to be a, a rustic pizza today. You yeah. don't have to be perfect with it. And we've got two balls here. Um, you can Made actually make that, one yeah. large one if you've got a large bacon tray. So out of that, you know, the flour and the yeast and the water. So we're going to, if I mean for a family, I would say you would get a good 12, 10 inch, 12 inch pizza. But if there's vegetarians in the house and you yeah. want to just split it, you can do that. Some of you like it spicy, some of you like it with meat on and some don't. You can make two separate ones. We can just... Put it there and we'll get this one finished and then Andrew can put the topping on and then we're ready to cook. Like we were explaining earlier, you can be as inventive as you like with the pizza. You don't have to put the toppings that we are putting on, this is just giving you an idea. So, but I would always recommend using the base that we made. Put as much or as little as you like on. At this point, your mouth will start salivating. <laughs> Did you see it? You were watching us out the corner of your eye. I was. Um, oh, I think this, this is, is one the of best my bit. favourite. This is, this is the bit the, the kids will enjoy. They can put their own little stamp on it. So, like I say, I like cherry tomatoes and the mozzarella cheese. So we just dot them about. With your mozzarella, you can actually put it on in the slices or you can break it up. Like so. That's just one mozzarella ball that we've used. And we're getting quite, quite a bit out of it. But all this is fresh ingredients. And there we are. Brilliant. Once we have our pizzas ready and treated, we pop them into the oven. If you pop them onto the top shelf, we pop them on about 190. It should take between 10 and 15 minutes to cook. Right, I think our pizza should be ready now. As you can see, that's nicely browned off. Uh, you can use a pizza slice, but if you don't have one of these, you can easily use a knife uh, and cut it into as many portions as you like. I'm going to cut it into four. So, through the centre, turn it round. Done. I have my plate there. I'm going to add some basil to it, because I quite like the basil. Um, so you can just tear a bit off. 
Keep it easy, you can shred it on as well. So on like that, and then a nice bit of oil, just a touch. And then transfer it on our plate. 